What's up, people? Here I am at another restaurant to do a pickup video. First, I have to show you the menu, because that's part of it. I've decided right now. So, here it is. I'm still thinking. This is today's lunch, but I'm not really into it. I'm not a big croquette eater. Plus, I had one last night for dinner. And my half price Obento from the supermarket. And quite honestly, I can't look at this menu and decide while I'm talking and making a video. So, I'm gonna have to shut this sucker off. Whoa, that's shiny. Order. And then, uh, yeah, move on. So, we're at a Japanese family. Ooh, that looks good. I think I might have that. Uh, <coughs> family restaurant. Prices are pretty reasonable. There's a drink bar. So you just go and refill it yourself. That's pretty exciting stuff. And uh, it's packed. But, uh, I don't know. I just don't care. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, the menu. It's not bad. This I'm at Royal Host. It's the name of the place. You can see it's backwards on the window, but that's where I am. And uh, yeah, almost done with this menu. It's already over a minute, so I gotta get going. Picked up a couple games today. Thought I might show them to you as long as I'm here. Ooh, club sandwich. Yummy. Coca-Cola, so good and yet so bad for you. What a combination. In a royal host glass. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. I think I read somewhere that the recipe for Coca-Cola is pretty much different in every country. Is that true? Alright, now the table's wet, so I'll use the menu to put stuff on. Okay, so I just have two things to show you. One, Choro Q64. Rokuyon, as they say in Japan, 6-4. They don't say 64, that would be Rokujuyon. That's too much work, so they just say Rokuyon, 6-4. It's the Nintendo 6-4. There, fun trivia for the day. I don't think I've ever played this. Obviously, it's a racing game. And uh, I think it's got a bit of Mario Kart feel to it, not sure. I'm sure it doesn't compare favorably to Mario Kart, but oh well. Got it for about $4.50, $5, something like that. And uh, it's a boxed game that I didn't have, and let's see, oh, look at that, that is beautiful. You see how that flap has no bend in it? That pleases me immensely. Excellent. Somebody knew how to open a box. Let's see if I can keep the dream. Wow, they didn't know how to handle a manual, though. It's a little bit abused, but oh well. At least it's in there. Just a quick looky at the manual. Right, actually this looks kind of fun. Looking forward to trying it out. And then here's the cart, which is in actually really good condition. Nice. So there's that. Cool. I'll pack it up after I get done with this. And what's the other thing I got? Something new. Uh, Super Luigi Brothers U. Hey, that rhyme. I wanted to get this from my American Wii U because I have Mario, uh, the Mario counterpart on the Japanese one, but I just won't be buying that many Japanese Wii U games, I reckon, because I don't want to play in Japanese most of the time. So I went ahead and grabbed this today for my Japanese Wii U, also because I'm not going to be in the States probably until winter. So anyway, this is only $35 new. It's true. This is what it looks like in Japan. And uh, yeah, this is apparently the year of Luigi. Where'd it go? Mm -hmm. The year of Luigi. So let's see if I can get this open real quick. If I can't, then I'll cut it out because I don't want to waste time opening it. But if I can do it quickly, then cool. I was actually uh, about to make this video and I saw an old friend that I hadn't seen in, I don't know, over a year, I reckon. Or just about a year, actually. So uh, that was kind of weird. His son, the last time I saw him, was about up to my, I don't know, belly button. And now he's taller than me. So that freaked me out a little bit. I didn't rec recognize him at all. So, yeah, that was neat. But I didn't really want to... <laughs> uh, do this while he was here, so I actually did some proofreading work and finished my very light lunch. And 
now they're gone, so I can go back to being an otaku. All right, so here it is. It's open up, and it's green, which I just love that. It's awesome. And oh crap! Well, it's okay. By the time this is on the internet, I will have already put the points up. I don't know why people don't realize that when I show this stuff. <laughs> oh well. There's the disc. And oh man, I hate this. Seriously. Oh. It doesn't even have a proper manual. It's got like this incredibly flimsy paper. It doesn't no manual. Ah, oh, that makes me so sad. So this basically has no manual. It's just talking about the how to use the Wii U. That's shocking. That's a real bummer. But I, I don't know. Maybe that's one of the reasons why it's only thirty-five dollars. Anyway, ah, it's so flimsy. The paper's so flimsy. I can't even get it into the little clip. <laughs> on the case. Anyway, that's all my, I'm pretty sure I said anyway a hundred times in this video, sorry. All my pickups, just, it's really hot outside, so I decided to stop off here even though I'm not that hungry and figured since I'm here, I might as well do this, so. Oh, that looks kind of yummy. I don't know. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, put this stuff here so it looks like a video game or something. Bye bye Oh yeah, it's bonus footage with the noisy air conditioner. Woo hoo! So on my way home from the restaurant, I stopped at a store that has some retro games and such, and uh, picked up a few more. They were all really cheap, so I went ahead and did the deed. Um, these are in little uh, packages, and I told them just to leave them that way because I don't want them handling the boxes. Here's the box. Um, because usually people don't know how to handle boxes. I go on and on about this, but anyway, it's better that way. So, and another bonus of that is I get the little, well, this one doesn't appear to be one. Sometimes they have uh, little plastic pouches that are the perfect size and they're reusable. These don't appear to be that, but anyhow, so I got that. And that's Diddy Kong Racing. Sorry, I forgot to say that. This is Design Moon 3D, which let you design your own shoot 'em up and it says it's 3D but it's kind of pseudo 3D and it's okay. There aren't really any shoot 'em ups or not many, I should say for the N64 too, I guess. Uh, depending on how you would call what what you call a shoot up. Shoot 'em up. Man, I can't talk. Anyway, there's the box for that. This was the most expensive one. It was around $5. But it's boxed. Woohoo! And complete. Next is Mickey Chow, uh, Mickey no Racing Gucharenji. I don't know what this is called. Mickey Speedway USA, maybe, or something like that. The American version or the the non-Japanese version. <coughs> so there's the wow. So much shininess. So little time. Probably should have thought about that before I started recording. Oh well. So yeah. Hmm. And oh ho oh, oh. ho! Escape from. He's, he's got out as I was grabbing them. So this is the little plastic thing that came in, and I can reuse that, so that's happy. Yay. Ah, and a <laughs> little bit at a time here. What in the world? Welcome, happy minigame. So this comes with actually two manuals. See, now that Luigi game comes with zero. So does this make up for it? No, no, it does not. I was going to say that Luigi game, I could download it for cheaper, but I wanted the hard copy. Or maybe I did that. I don't know. I was thinking about food, kind of. So yeah, Mario Party. Boxed. Well, it's gonna be boxed because I want to put it in the box. Yay! Anything else to show you? Mm, uh, should I? Should I do it? I guess I can. I got a couple UMDs for the Japanese PSP, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and I opened it up to check to make sure it has uh, an option for English subtitles. And I got this PSP game, Freak Out. It's a PAL version of, uh, I'm not even looking at it, sorry, <laughs> PAL version, uh, there it is, freak out, and what else did I get, there were discounts on these, so they're not necessarily the prices marked, I don't bother telling you or looking them up, this is Beautiful Joe Battle, what, I'm sorry, Beautiful Joe Battle Carnival, other side, ah, for the GameCube, stupid, stupid reflective mess, what else, Mr. Drill Land, or Mr. Driller Drill Land, I sent an incomplete copy of this, I want to say to... Who was that? Thinking, thinking, somebody. 
it's on the tip of my tongue. And uh, so I replaced it because uh, I didn't have it for a while. And knob rules, I want to say, maybe. Here's the disc and the manual. This is lots of manually stuff as well, so that's interesting. Uh, another UMD. The Island for like, I don't know, three dollars or whatever. I don't know, some of this stuff maybe wasn't such a great deal, but I don't really care. Here we go. Twin B Portable for the PSP. This is my most expensive purchase of the day, except for Luigi. I have this, but it's like the best one or whatever, and it was bothering me, so I got this. It was still cheap, though. And where is it? Uh, Twin B. Here's the back. Got five games on one disc. Pretty sweet. I don't know why I bought this. Jericho for the, for the Xbox 360. There it is. And the, it's a. I think living in Japan, when I see games that are from PAL or the US, North America, I'm tempted to get them just because I don't often see them. So, anyway, I ended up buying a few more things. And that's a really long bonus footage thing. Yay! Okay, boo-boo.